Hi guys, it's me Swastik and this is part 2 of how to make your own discord bot using Python. In this video, we'll be covering commands and if you haven't watched the first video, click here in the card. So commands are just like events, but they have to be user triggered. What I mean by that is when a user types the command prefix and then something after that. And in this case, we're taking this angular bracket because this is my command prefix and hello. Uh, the bot will do whatever is done, uh, whatever is written after this colon. So whatever is written here, the bot will do that whenever a user types the command prefix and then the command name. So for example, our command name was hello. So the bot would have uh, send hi. So to make our commands, it's very easy. I'm just delete this because I don't really need this command. Uh, write the decorator, then client dot if uh, client dot command parentheses and in the next line write async def because this will be an asynchronous function so what i want to do is have a command called rules so in my server i have some rules right so what i want to do is for example if i write rule one i want the bot to reply with the first rule so to do this what we have to do is let me just make a dummy text for now so rule right then whatever is now rule is a function right so you need to pass in uh, the context so this is the context and see uh, in short form it's cdx so what i want to do is await cdx dot send so i want to send um i don't know I, for now we'll just write rule i guess so what this does is when i call rule this will return rule now this is of no use right now because it's just a random command. Now to add uh, functionality, I need to first uh, add my rules, uh, which are right here. I need to add them to a list in my file. So I'll be back when I add them. So I just added all the rules. Now a better way to do this would be to make a txt file and add the rules there so that you can update the txt file and have the rules be loaded in here. But for now, I'm just uh, making a list and adding all the rules here. Now, if you don't know how to work with a list, a list is simply like if I just have a um, variable. So a list would be something which is um, enclosed within square brackets. And to access the elements, you just have the first element like this. And the elements are separated using um, uh, uh, commas. So second element, third element, like that. Second it could be numbers there could be lists within lists as well and to access these elements for example if i just want this uh, uh, string right so to do that i have to write a and the index of the first uh, element is zero so it starts from zero and goes like this so zero one two and it also comes back so this would be minus one minus two and minus three it's a little confusing but you'll understand if you start coding so just make sure that the first one is zero and not one. So let's just make our uh, command. So to do that, just have client dot command, um, then async def, async def uh, rule. Now, like I said, ctx, but we actually need to read. Uh, we need to read these uh, numbers, right? Now to read the numbers, what you do is uh, go back to your code and write asterisk and the number. So this will be giving us the uh, number that was entered here. So the number variable will have that number that was entered. So we're just going to send await ctx.send. We will send the rules, right? So we will send. So we need to get the index so the index is the number minus one like i said so we need to convert the number into a string uh, into a in, into an integer number minus one if i save this and run it so to run it i already ran it once i'm just going to close that so open your command prompt right click on start then uh, navigate to your directory so to navigate you cd uh, and change directory it actually means so cd and tutorial bot uh, and if you uh, go to a wrong directory just uh, use a double period so it will go back one directory so cd tutorial bot and like i said to run the 
Python file, just type the name. Let's just hope that it works and there are no issues. Let's see. So the bot is ready. Let's see if he's online. As you can see, he's online. And if I type rule one, as you can see, this is gave us the rule. Now there are some, okay, so we have some problems like uh, this is not properly done to do that. Go back to the code and uh, slash n. I should have done that. So uh, slash n new line character so that our this link just goes on to the next line so let's just see if the other rules work uh, rule 6 uh, as you can see it works so let's just make it separate file and load the rules from there right because that's much better so let's just do that now to make a new uh, file just right click on your folder go to new file and let's just copy your rules just copy them then go back and paste them now everything should be in a separate line I'll just ex uh, I think everything is in a separate line except for this so I'm just gonna move the links back and put them all in line one so once it's done we can save them control s and save them as rules dot txt now once that's done we can delete our older list and open our new one to open our new one we have to remove this right uh, f so f for file so open the file name which is uh, rules.txt and the mode so the mode is read so r so now to get the rules the rules will be f dot read lines so this will have our rules let's check once to see that everything loads up properly let's just run our bot so bot.py and let's see if there are any errors there shouldn't be any errors so as you can see the bot is ready let's go back so it's online let's just do rule one and there you go so our bot now has you can remove all the embeds so this should this should works now and one more thing in commands let's say i also want rules rules one so if i do rules one i should also get this back but right now if i write rules one i get an error which says command rules are not found now to add rules and make it point towards this one what we do is aliases let's just open our code and inside of command write aliases now make sure that your spelling is correct aliases and it's gonna be a list of um, now whatever is inside this list will be associated with this command so for now I'm just gonna keep rules and just for another uh, just for a test we'll just write test so if I save this and run it again so I'm just gonna uh, close the bot so, I, so the bot just um, so I just stop the bot and now let's just run the bot again to show you how these aliases work so once he's online, we can see. So now if I write test uh, 8, as you can see, test now points to rules and it says do not DM advertise. And also rules should work now. So rules 4. And there you go. Now I hope you like this video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button and subscribe. Our like goal for this video is 25 likes. So if our, um, if our video hits 25 likes, I'll make the next part. Thanks for watching and be sure to hit the like button and subscribe again and goodbye.